Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, wanted to do some updating, I haven't done that in a while. The system here has been running flawless for about, I don't know, a month and a half now. I've put it through a lot of tests. I've done uh, a lot of battery testing, trying to find some, you know, best results for my battery bank. And I've got my settings at, uh, let's see, 50 volts we're going back to grid 52.8 volts is my float setting and 56 volts is uh, full batteries and uh, they're they're disconnected from charging I'm, I'm only using my battery bank right now for backup until I get my solar panel so I don't want to leave these lithium batteries charged at a high voltage it's not good for them uh, they settle down to about 3.325 volts. Uh, that 52.8 on the float. I don't want them to go into float really. That'll put you at 3.3. So that's the setup. I'm very happy with them. Everything's been running great, like I said. Um, but I do have an issue. Uh, a couple days ago, I cranked everything up that I have associated with my sub panel and I wanted to measure because this is a split phase system I wanted to measure especially on the neutral it's a shared neutral and I, I want to make sure everything's pretty well balanced and then see what I can uh, if I can add some more circuits and stuff on this panel so while doing that I noticed an issue on the ground so let me put this setting here in backup mode so this is going to be setting one I'm going to set this to solar battery utility if there's no solar and no battery then it goes to utility well we're going to have battery so we'll let that transfer over once it accepts you'll see a transfer here and you'll see how fast this is it's pretty pretty cool there we went just a blink now we're on battery power all right now if I take a measurement here with amperage on this ground yeah. virtually nothing All right it's showing point two one see that I got a lot of shadows here with this lighting so everything seems fine but I'm getting my ground is bonded in my main panel and essentially it's coming from my main panel to this lower disconnect here and then from there into the input of the inverters right so if you measure resistance across the input the AC input uh, from the neutral to the ground there's there's no connection if you go to the AC output side you find that the neutral and the ground is bonded so when this thing is in backup mode on the batteries there's no issue on the ground now I'm going to transfer this back over to grid power so we're going to go utility first so that's utility solar battery. So utility is going to be your primary source. Now, once it accepts that signal, it should switch over to the utility, which is coming from my main panel. And then we'll check this ground. There we go. We transfer over. Now look what we have. Now this is going to go into charge mode again. It's going to top the batteries off.
So now the inverters are ramping up to top off the batteries. Look at the current on this ground wire. 4.5 amps. And that's flowing through the ground back to my main panel. That's a problem. So this is something that I'm trying to work out and if you guys have had this issue or have any known fixes you know it's it's my opinion that where they have bonded inside the inverters on the on the in input you're fine on the output once this thing transfers over where, where you're into utility mode it's running through the input and then back out on the output and you're picking up a bonded neutral again you should only have a bonded neutral in one spot if you're running these inverters on uh, off-grid only and not tied to a main panel like I am you'll be fine um, this bonding would be would be perfect but you should not have it in two places I think that's what this is doing is creating a second place for a neutral bond so let me know in the comments uh what you guys think i'll post some more videos as as um, time allows here on my system but uh yeah i've got i still have to do a door over the batteries i've got these two i've added and then this in the middle to cover everything up and i still have to put some hinges on these but we're getting there thanks for watching guys leave your comments below if you have any uh any questions or concerns or if you've had this issue and you can help me out, I appreciate it.